Welcome to Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for this Monday, March 12, 2012. Our top story is exciting news from the world of medicine. Researchers at the University of Pennsylvania are attempting to develop a universal framework for personalized cancer therapy. This is refining other experiments that are engineering T-cells specific to certain cancer-related proteins. Receptors for these antigen proteins can be engineered into a patient's own T-cells, allowing for a targeted immune response. However, this is where a problem is encountered, as one patient can have groups of cancer cells expressing different antigens. So, the research developed what they're calling the universal immune receptor, which instead reacts to a molecule bound to a cancer antigen. This works because of a molecule called biotin, which is a complex B vitamin. This molecule is used to label multiple antibodies that bind to specific antigens. Because the universal immune receptor targets biotin-labeled molecules instead of one specific antigen. Eventually, the hope is that a patient could have their cancer cells analyzed to identify all expressed antigens and finally have engineered T-cells to target all their cancer. Next is an update from the field of genetics. Research from the University of Florida has identified a family of transcription factors involved in the regulation of muscle mass. As we've mentioned on Brainstorm before, transcription factors are proteins that can regulate the expression of certain genes. Manipulation of these particular factors could prevent muscle wasting and even promote muscle growth. This discovery was, of course, made using our good friends mice. Healthy control mice as well as mice with cancer and sepsis had the proteins inhibited. Both groups of unhealthy mice showed significantly lower rates of muscle loss. And most interestingly, it actively increased muscle mass of the healthy group of mice. Obviously, once this research reaches humans, it'll have huge implications for diseases that cause muscle wasting, or just may give you an excuse to be lazy. We end with a story from the world of neuroscience. A Swiss scientist has established the Human Brain Project, which will attempt to construct a detailed simulation of the entire human brain. Obviously, this is going to be a huge undertaking. Those working on this will be attempting to represent the complex interactions between neurons and synapses with a mathematical model, all the while going through a lot of experimental data to ensure the simulation is as accurate as possible. There's already already a prototype system they'll be expanding and refining for this project. Once it's complete, the code will be available to any scientist who'd like to experiment with it, given they have a supercomputer. If it works, it could be programmed to simulate the effects of new drugs and neurological conditions. One of the final steps will be setting up a virtual world for it to develop and grow in. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please consider subscribing and be sure to check the links in the video description.